Once again, read and understand the assembly, maintenance, and safety manual before using the trike. Always follow the instructions and pay attention to all warnings in the manual. Replacement parts, accessories, the latest in trike products, this manual and more can be found at our website, www.trike.com. That's T-R-I-K-K-E dot com. Alright, so I brought you out here to, to the beach to go for your first trike ride. You'll notice that I've selected an area that's devoid of any cars, pedestrians, other riders. It's very smooth, it's very flat, no cracks really to speak of. This is the perfect place to learn how to ride a trike. So uh, pick a parking, empty parking lot, basketball court, tennis court, whatever you can find. But uh, it's best to have it nice and smooth and without any obstacles. The following five warnings have been selected from the list at the beginning of this program for demonstration. Please read and understand these and all warnings before riding the trike. Now the first safety issue I want to talk to you about is riding in wet conditions. Now you saw me ride through this puddle and I very simply stopped turning and went straight through the puddle. That's what we recommend if you're in a situation where you're riding and you see a puddle before you have a chance to dismount just stop turning and glide right over it without any turns. Now the best thing to do is really to get off or avoid the puddle altogether. Uh, the reason being the polyurethane wheels that the trike has are very hard. They do not work very well in wet conditions. We strongly recommend that you do not ride your trike in wet conditions uh, regardless of whether it's just a, a, a light misting or a dew or a rainfall. You want to stay away from it, wait for your pavement to be nice and dry before you ride your trike. Now, safety issue number two has to do with balancing your weight properly over the trike. That means having plenty of weight front and rear so you're really balanced in the middle of the trike. The important thing really is to put your feet right up to the top of the foot platforms and put most of your weight on your toes. You don't have to stand on your toes but put your weight on your toes and really get to know the trike in terms of where you're balanced. You don't want to be too far back. You can go over the back of the trike very easily if you put your weight on your heels or put your butt out over the back of the trike. It also unweights the front wheel. You want to balance your weight between the front and rear so that you have plenty of grip on the front wheel. You want weight on the front wheel so you have grip. If you're a little bit too far back, the front wheel comes off the ground and it skitters around and you don't have any traction. So balance your weight very evenly between the front and rear. Use your arms just to work the handlebars, not to finesse them, and you're on your way to a fun trike ride. You might have noticed that the front wheel on the trike actually trails the front fork, unlike a bicycle configuration, which looks like this. The trike in its correct configuration looks like this, which brings us to safety issue number three, which is how to manage the handlebars and the front wheel. First and foremost, always use both hands when you're riding the trike. The trike requires both hands at all times. It's not a hands-free type of vehicle. And because of the way that the front wheel is configured, the trike wants to turn to the left or right by itself, unlike a bike, which you're probably used to, which will go in a straight line. Now, in order to keep yourself safe on a trike, always balance your weight over the rear wheels. Do not put your weight onto the front forks or lean way forward and do not manhandle or overcompensate when you're turning the steering wheel. Your turns, especially when you're learning, should be nice and smooth and gradual. There's no reason to do really sharp turns. The problem there is that the trike can jackknife, which means that the wheel comes around 90 degrees to the direction that you're going and it'll actually flip you up and over the handlebars. Either that or you turn sharp and the trike will go out to the side and you'll have to run off the front. So be safe, balance yourself, and do not overcompensate or oversteer on the trike. Woo! 
downhill on trikes. Nothing could be better. But that also brings up safety issue number four. Doing downhills on trikes is something that only an expert rider should be doing. The very last thing that you should do and put yourself at very high risk is to go out, take your trike out of the box, assemble it, and go find the first hill you can find. You have to learn how to ride the trike. You have to learn what the tolerances are, what the edge of the envelope is, how the wheels perform on different pavement, how well the brakes work. Obviously going downhill, you're going to need more braking power and more braking time and more braking distance to, to be able to stop yourself in an emergency situation. We always recommend to trikers who want to do downhills, and obviously you're going to want to do it, uh, that you only do hills that are at a grade where you can control your speed by carving. And what I mean is by simulating a skiing type of pattern down the hill where you just carve and carve and carve and you can actually control your speed that way. If you're going down a hill and you have to apply the brakes consistently or constantly, that hill is going to be too steep. If nothing else, it's going to suggest that, that, that your braking times are far too long and you're not going to be safe while you're riding. And secondarily, it's going to mean that you're going to be wearing out your brake pads and your rear wheels a lot faster than you're going to want to. So please be safe on hills. We can't stop you from doing them. The trike is a great downhill sport, uh, but be safe, use common sense and make sure that you're operating uh, within your capabilities. You're going to notice that I'm wearing a helmet, which brings me to safety issue number five. Now, the trike is a wheeled vehicle that moves, sometimes slow, sometimes fast. And if you're going to ride a trike, you're going to obviously put yourself at a little more risk than had you not been on a trike in the first place. So what we recommend and always recommend is that you wear proper safety equipment. First and foremost is a helmet. Get yourself a certified, industry certified helmet, whether it be a bicycle, inline skating, or a skateboard helmet. Either one of those is going to be more than sufficient uh, to protect your head. Now, if you're a novice rider, which you probably are, or if you're a child, uh, you might want to get elbow pads and knee pads uh, just to be extra safe. Uh, it doesn't hurt to be safe. Uh, you don't have to wear them, but uh, we recommend them for anyone who is going to be a first-time rider, especially if you're a child.